can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this square with a side length of 9 centimeters, let's draw a quarter circle. Let's draw a semicircle that is tangent to this quarter circle. And now let's draw a circle shaded on orange. Now the question is what is the area of this orange circle? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Now given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this orange circle. And to answer this kind of question is of course, let's focus on the important points. The first one is this point, which is the center of this quarter circle. And this point, the center of the semicircle, and of course the center of the orange circle. Now first, to find the area of this circle, we need to find first the radius of the semicircle. So let's call this as R. Now let's connect these two centers like this. And we know this is also the radius. This is R. Now we know also the radius of this quarter circle. This is the side of this square, which is equal to 9. Using this right triangle, we can now find the value of this R. Because this length, is just 9 minus r. So using the Pythagorean theorem, we have 9 squared plus 9 minus r equals 9 plus r raised to the power of 2. Now let's focus on this equation and let's solve for the value of r. Now let's expand 9 minus r raised to the power of 2. This will give us 81 minus 18r plus r squared and 9 squared is 81. 9 plus r raised to the power of 2 is 81 plus 18r plus r squared. Now, if we subtract r squared on both sides, this is just a 0. Now, subtract 81 on both sides. So this 81 is simply equal to 0. Now, add 18r on both sides. Sub 81 equals 36r. Divide both sides by 36. Then simplify. 81 and 36 are divisible by 9. So divide 9, 81 divided by 9 is 9, 36 divided by 9 is 4. Therefore, the radius of this semicircle simply equal to 9 over 4 centimeters. All right, now, we are now ready to find the radius of this orange circle. Now, let's call this as R sub 1. And to find R sub 1, let's connect these centers of the semicircle, quarter circle, and the circle. And what we're going to do is to drop a perpendicular line like this. And using these two right triangles, we can now find the value of this R sub 1 or the radius of this orange circle. Because the hypotenuse of this big right triangle simply equal to 9 plus R sub 1. And one of its legs simply equal to 9 minus this is R sub 1. So we have 9 minus R sub 1. Now, in the upper right triangle, one of its legs is 9 over 4 minus r sub 1 because this length is r sub 1. And the hypotenuse is 9 over 4 plus r sub 1. And now, the only missing term is this side length. So what we're going to do is let's call this leg of this upper right triangle be equal to n and the lower right triangle or the big right triangle be equal to m. Now, as you can see, n plus m is equal to the side of the square or simply equal to 9. Now, let's focus on this equation. Now, at this point, we are now going to find the value of n and m. But to make this calculation more faster, we will use this identity. If we have x plus y raised to the power of 2 minus x minus y raised to the power of 2, this is simply equivalent to 4 times x times y. Alright, so keep in mind this identity. Now, let's solve for the value of n using the Pythagorean theorem. Sub n squared plus 9 over 4 minus r sub 1 raised to the power of 2 equals 9 over 4 plus r sub 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, rearrange some terms a little bit to find the value of n squared. And as you can see, this is the same thing as this identity. So, n squared simply equal to 4 times 9 over 4 times r sub 1, all right? And 
4 multiply by 9 over 4. 4 cancel out. This is just 9 times r sub 1. Now get the square root on both sides. Square root of 9 is 3. So n equals 3 times the square root of r sub 1. Now let's set aside this result. And now let's get the value of m. So we have m squared plus 9 minus r sub 1 squared equals 9 plus r sub 1 raised to the power of 2. So using this big right triangle. And rearrange some terms a little bit. And again, using our identity for this expression on the right-hand side, this expression simply equal to 4 times 9 times r sub 1. And 4 times 9 is 36. And get the square root on both sides. Square root of 36 is 6. So m equals 6 times the square root of r sub 1. Now, we have now m and n. And we know n plus m equals 9. Let's substitute the value of n and m. So we have 3 times r sub 1 plus 6 times the square root of r sub 1 equals 9. We have similar term. So we can combine them as 9 multiplied by square root of r sub 1. Divide both sides by 9. So square root of r sub 1 equals 1. Now square on both sides. So r sub 1 equals 1. Therefore, the radius of this orange circle simply equal to 1 centimeter. And the area of this orange circle be equal to pi r sub 1 raised to the power of 2. We know r sub 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1. Therefore, the area of this orange circle simply equal to pi square centimeters. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the orange circle simply equal to pi square centimeters. And as always, we are done.